going on everybody Bauer Brown here welcome back to the channel guys in the video that I have for you guys today we're going to be going over the GRLE converter all right so right about now you're probably saying the GR what <laughs> that's the GRLE uh, don't know what it stands for pretty sure that the G stands for giants in the RLE oh I don't know Mm, how about real life expectations? <laughs> uh, because what you expected to do is not actually what it does in real life. <laughs> nah, I really, I honestly, I don't know what it means. Um, but it is uh, all of your info layers are GRLEs. So you should be pretty familiar with, with what they are, at least at this point. Okay. Uh, now, going into this, it, it's good to know that you guys that are working on two kilometer maps, your standard size map, uh, you really don't have a need to be goofing around with your info layers or anything else, right? Uh, anything that you may have added as far as like field dimensions with bitmap or uh, uh, maybe a tree generator script or uh, possibly, a, oh, like, a, like your soil map maybe, right, uh, for precision farming. So those types of things, uh, you may need to get involved with the info layer, and that's what we're going to touch on now. Uh, you guys that are doing bigger maps, there's a little bit more involved, but that's going to come in a later video. Uh, right now, we're just going to go over the GRLE converter, and uh, it does nothing more uh, than just like it says, like the name says, it, it converts a GRLE. And what it converts it to is a PNG, right? Because that's all really that a GRLE is. It's a fancy PNG. All right. So first and foremost, where do we get this converter? Okay. Uh, you want to go over to the uh, Giants Developer Network, and that's at gdn.giants-software.com. All right. And you do need to be registered and logged in to be able to download from the site. All right. If you are not, you won't even see the downloads link. So if you can't see any place to download, you're probably not logged in. So go ahead and do that. Uh, get yourself whatever you need to do. Register, logged in. Um, and then scroll on down to other tools, and you will see GRLE Converter version 7.0.1 and download that to a location uh, where you're going to be able to find it again. Now, the download, the download location is uh, fairly important because if you run it from the location, all right, you need to have a, a, a clean file path. And by that, I mean, it, is if you ever wonder, like if uh, this file name here, this GRLE converter, did you ever wonder why they use underscores in the names instead of spaces? Well, that's because the spaces uh, have a tendency to goof things up. Right. Depending on the file system or the script that you're trying to run, uh, it doesn't tend to like spaces too much in file names. Now, Windows is a little more OK with it, uh, but in this case, it is not. Right. Uh, so like my documents, my space documents, that would be a pretty bad place to try to run this from. Desktop would be a good place. Uh, my awesome FS22 mod map, all spaces <laughs> would be a really bad place to run this from. All right. So uh, what you can see up here, I got utilities tools and this GRLE converter is, you know, underscores instead of spaces. And so I'm good to go. Uh, what would happen is if you try to run this script, uh, you try to. And the way you run this, by the way, is to just take the, uh, the info layer that you're trying to convert and drag it over top of this convert. Just like that. See how this popped up there. All right. Uh, nothing else. You don't have to worry about this uh, application like an EXE. None of that stuff. Just drag it over to convert. All right. But if you do that. And that black box pops up really quick and goes away. Uh, it's it's because of your file path. You need to move this program over to your desktop or someplace like that, and and that will straighten it out. Okay, so this converter is is like it said, it just converts. It doesn't do uh, anything else outside of that. Now it will convert both your density maps, right, your GDMs, and your GRLEs. Now, like I said, use guys on standard size maps. Ooh, pardon me. And the hiccups. Uh, you're really not going to have to worry about this too much. Uh, like I said, outside of like field dimensions, maybe your soil map, possibly, or anything that you added yourself. Okay. Other than that, everything you should be good to go on a two kilometer map. Everything should be the right size and you shouldn't have to mess around too much. Uh, now, like say, for example, if you were doing like your field dimensions, what you would do is, like I said, you would just grab that GRLE, drag it over to convert. All right. And this box that pops up will tell you the file path of the GRLE you are now converting. It will tell you the current dimensions. Now, this is the dimensions of the GRLE, not of the uh, PNG that, well, it will be the, the dimensions of the PNG as well until you, until you change it. 
Uh, and then a few other things here, right? A little bit of other information that has to do with that file. Just, you know, click any key to continue. And that's it. Right next to that, you will see a PNG was created. And now from here, you can use uh, Photoshop, GIMP, Paint.net, any one of those programs, and you can increase the file size or and the uh, file dimensions. Uh, you can go up to, and normally it would be like a, well, I guess basically it's ever whatever you need. So it, it depends on your map, right? So you should have a feel for where you need to go. If you need to go up to an 8192, or if this was smaller and you need to go up to a 4096. Let's see what I'm saying there. Uh, there are other files. Like I said, when you get up into uh, bigger maps, there's other files that your your other info layers that are not listed here. They're stored somewhere else. And you will need to pay attention to those and you will need to convert those. But that's not what this video is about. Uh, this is just about the converter itself. I want you guys to be aware of what it is. Uh, how to use it, you know, where to store it, like on your desktop, that sort of thing, because we're going to need this for future videos. And there has been some questions, you know, about this converter. All right. So when should you use it and, and when should you not? All right. A rule of thumb basically is if you don't know exactly what is inside of this info layer, all right, then you should be using it. Now, what is the alternative of not using it? Okay, do you remember when we did field dimensions with bitmap? Uh, the way that we converted that GRLE was we created our own PNG file to the dimensions that we wanted it to. Uh, then we went into our map.i3d through the text editor, uh, and then we changed it over that GRLE. And I'll show you here in one second what I mean. In the map.i3d, we found this field dimensions. We changed this GRLE to a PNG, saved it. Uh, we went over to our to our mod map. Now we deleted the uh, field dimensions.grle. We got rid of that info layer. We started up, we opened up the map within the, within the giants editor, saved it. And then when we come back to this mod map or to this mod map folder, uh, it recreated that field dimensions.grle with the proper uh, dimensions, with the proper resolution that we had set it to. Okay. And then we went back into our, uh, map.i3d and change this uh, PNG back to our GRLE, back to our mod map folder, delete the PNG, and we were good. I know it sounds, it's an awfully long process for something like that, but uh, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad. Um, and the converter is really not going to do anything different for you. The only thing it's going to do is give you that PNG, you know, create it for you instead of you having to provide that yourself. All right. That's the only thing that's going to go different there. But like I said, a rule of thumb is if you don't know exactly what's inside of these PNGs, like let's say, for example, uh, you're further along in your map build, much further along, uh, and you want to take, say, this farmland and do it the tr not traditional way. I don't want to say that because that's not right, uh, but do it the way where we create our own PNG and delete this. Let's see if we bring this over, convert it. Okay, we'll do that. All right, you can see that there's some information in there, and that's what you would have been deleting. Uh, you may not necessarily want to do that. Uh, now, these other files that I'm talking about um, for larger size maps, well, I can't even really say that, but let's just say that there will be instances when you're further along that these info layers will contain much more information uh, than you want to be deleting. And this holds especially true for the uh, for your density maps, okay? Uh, so in that case, if you're not 100% sure, then use the converter. And what that does is, is it help, it lets you retain the information that's currently within that GRLE. And so instead of deleting it, then you know, once you have a copy of it, then you can go ahead and delete it. All right. So you don't want to lose that information. So that was the big question that comes up a lot. When do I use it? When do I not? Well, that would be it. So if you don't know what's in the GRLE, then use it. Okay. Uh, and like I said, and that's, it's basically just for adjusting res, re, uh, resolutions. Or sometimes uh, I edit these directly. Uh, some some mappers out there, some modders, uh, especially their density maps, we will edit these directly within Photoshop or uh, a similar program. And uh, we'll get to that in another video. All right. So those are really the only two instances. The In the beginning, starting out, uh, you're going to find that the thing you use it for the most is adjusting resolution. All right. You might have asked a question in a forum or something like that. And no normally my my first uh, one that I can't say my first uh, response is going to be, but depending on what your problem is, 
you're going to hear me say it a lot. You know, it's your resolutions off, you know, just resolution, adjust your resolution. Okay. Uh, but like I said, these are all things that we're going to get into in a later video. Um, how to spot resolution issues, you know, what, what to look for uh, when you're having a resolution issue. Uh, these different info layers that I'm talking about for bigger maps, we'll get into that. Uh, like I said, just wanted to make sure that you guys know what the GRLE converter is, that the tool is available, that it does exist, where to get it, where to put it, how to use it. Uh, and that is basically it. All right. So keep an eye out for future videos when we start taking a deeper dive into these things. And we are going to put this converter to use. OK, uh, so for now, I'm going to leave it at that. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.